I'm a graduate with a BSc. I'm on the streets. 80% of graduates in Lagos as at 2016 are homeless. We want to express our grievances, our displeasure. Millions of dollars set aside for education are not being used by state government. A um, master degree holder going back to earn a 50,000 naira. School is a scam. <laughs> Somewhere in Enugu State, there is John, a bright guy who had just finished his secondary education and was looking to get admission to study his dream course in his dream university, that is Petroleum Engineering at the University of Nigeria and Suka. The grand finale of his dream was to work at the formidable company Shell. He applied, wrote the exam, the results came out, he couldn't make it. He did not quite meet up to the cut-off mark. The following year, he tried harder. He surpassed the cut-off mark. He wasn't chosen still. Devastated as he was, he couldn't go on with this. The next year, he applied for the same course, but in his state university, sure he would get the admission. He is an indigen. And yeah, he got admitted. But then, school was tougher than he expected. He struggled to pay his fees at some point. There were long strikes at other moments. He had rough moments, but at the end, he graduated. Did his NYSC. So, about nine years after he had his dream to work at Shell as a petroleum engineer, he was ready. The moment had come. He walked into the nearest Shell company to him and applied for his dream job. Two years later, John was really, really frustrated and so depressed because he was about to apply for a job as a school teacher to teach physics at a secondary school. You see, he had been unable to secure a job for the past two years. Two years. At the end of that very day, he couldn't get the job as the teacher because they already had someone. He came out of the school complex, recalling that he had a second class opera in petroleum engineering. He recalled all he went through while he was at school, all the struggles and everything. He folded his hands in shock and agony, with just one thought coming to his mind. School has come. This is the story of many young lads around the country and because of these experiences, many have concluded that school is a scam. But then, is it? Is it really a scam? It's a really important question. It is important because it's really affecting our society. There is a gradual tilt away from school. Young people are beginning to lose faith in school. They don't think they can achieve fulfillment in life through school anymore. This is a question we all have to answer. Does it still pay to go to school? Does school really help us become successful in life? What about all the unemployed graduates? What exactly is the problem here? After this video, you won't have to ask these questions anymore. To start this study, I had to do some research. I asked 3,000 people if they believe school was a scam. Of course, I didn't ask 3,000 people. I, I just asked a couple of friends and I literally had to beg for an answer at some point. But nevertheless, I got answers. A substantial amount of answers. And from the feedbacks, I discovered that there are majorly three schools of thoughts on this matter. There are these guys and this is what they have to say. This is a scam. I can't believe you're not saying this. The only people benefiting from this is the university which collects our money. That money, I could use that money to invest in another thing or business that would yield me profits in a lesser time. Graduates are broke people. Can't you see? There are no jobs. And then there are these guys. You are so ignorant. Education is contributing to the world. Medicine, engineering, research and innovation. Are we progressing in Africa or we are going back in time? I don't understand. How are we supposed to keep up with the rest of the world? With this attitude, what is all this madness? This is this is bad influence. This is ignorance. And then we have these guys. Well, I think it depends on what you study. Like, I mean, 
political science come on look at our politicians there is nothing scientific about their methods see just study a reasonable course in school and you won't have a problem every one of these guys have an atom of truth in what they believe but for us to understand we have to go deeper i had to go deeper to discover the motivation behind people's belief that school is a scam why do people say school is a scam there are many reasons but four reasons stand out and are very important and powerful the first is the failed system of education for many students and graduates the worst thing about school is the style of education i mean we are talking about a deficiently formulated curriculum an inconsistent syllabus the teaching of old concepts and ideas from notebooks and written by lecturers decades ago a system that seems to appraise your ability to cram information above your creativity the smartest students are not necessarily the ones with the highest grades the school basically teaches you how to pass an exam not how to be practical and innovative a lot of people laid emphasis on how the construct and structure of learning in nigerian schools is not exactly up to par the second reason is irrelevancy yes this is an indisputable fact a work of what students learn at school is irrelevant and even serves as an interest to their main focus the actual course of study in the syllabus there are subjects that are not useful and don't apply to your desired course of study but they are just there what is worse is that you are mandated to pass this subject else you won't advance to the next level even though you passed all the subjects that directly apply to your field of study this is what i mean watch this let's say i'm studying medicine and surgery at the university there are subjects that are essential to this field and they are so important i must pass them but then there are these unneeded subjects that are of no real value to medicine and surgery at least while i'm in school if i pass these essential subjects the important ones but i fail to pass one of the unneeded subjects I am not allowed to advance or graduate without trying again to pass that subject. It is outright ridiculous, a waste of time and brain power. A lot of students believe these subjects should be scrapped. The third motivation behind people's belief that school is a scam is this statement, no use in real life. This was a lot in the responses I got. In real life, there is no place to use the knowledge you paid with time and money to obtain. It's useless in real life. You are just learning impractical things, yet the school will not teach you important things like financial intelligence. I'd rather just interpret these as lack of jobs. You know, when you graduate from school and you don't know what to do with your degree or you enter into the agonizing cycle of looking for a job. What fuels this crisis even further is that the majority of the supposed role models to the youth are either dropouts or people who are not practicing what they studied in school but are still well to do. We have so many of them in the entertainment industry. For example, Fowles is a lawyer, Dr. Sid is a doctor, <laughs> Ayodeji Balogun, popularly known as Whiskid, is said to be a dropout of Leeds City University but as of now is worth more, much more than many graduates in different professions. In the tech and innovation industry, everyone keeps talking about Bill Gates and Mark Zuckerberg. So then, are they right? Is school just a messed up affair, so messed up that you could call it a scam? When talking about matters like this, one thing is very, very important, and that is clarity. Absolute clarity. Of course, when we are talking about school being a scam, we are not talking about primary and secondary school here, I hope. I believe we are referring to tertiary education which includes public and private universities, colleges, polytechnics, technical training institutes and vocational schools. So just get this now, when I make mention of tertiary education from this point, no I'm talking about universities, colleges of education and polytechnics for the most part. And from this point onward in this video, whatever I say about the university applies to other tertiary institutions. What is the purpose of a tertiary institution? As simple a question it is, many people don't know the answer. You see, 
the main reason why you go to university or other tertiary institutions is to be an expert on a subject and to prove that you're an expert on the subject by the end of the program you're given a degree this degree is a statement a seal that is recognized anywhere you go in the world and says only one thing this guy is an expert on this subject matter so you want to be a doctor where do you go to a university what is the subject or in this case course of study medicine and surgery what is the degree you are given the mbbs you are accountable for whatever you do with the knowledge the institution's primary role is to give you that knowledge that's it but there is one thing though you must learn what you signed up to learn if i wanted to be a chemical engineer by the end of the process i should be able to do what a chemical engineer does comfortably and also there is a huge difference between education and the university for example a university is one of the many places you can get education from nobody in my opinion believes education to be a scam people love education in fact right now there is an ongoing surge in learning people are adopting knowledge inclusive of data analytics web development affiliate marketing product design machine learning and many amazing and useful knowledge all of this is education the problem is not education the problem is not just school the problem is just nigerian institutions right no 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 i discovered that the real reason why students and graduates come out to say school is a scam is not just because of the school itself or what they experience while at school no it's much deeper and it's a much larger problem actually it's multifactorial i mean there is our spectacular government that invests and devotes so little to the educational sector there is our failing nigerian economy which is usually interpreted as a high level of unemployment amongst our graduates there is our wrong mindsets towards schools and jobs however i'm not downplaying the precise ability of our universities to make us hate education it's a rabbit hole really for a large percentage of people entering university requires a level of corruption to graduate still requires a track record of corruption by corruption i mean exchanging money for a pass the university is full of unneeded stress from the very first day to that day you bid farewell a polished structured curriculum full of things you do not need you learn courses that will never be applied in real life in your field at least the learning environment is poor the man teaching you economics is poor the students are always complaining the lecturers are always complaining why why are the lecturers always complaining i'll tell you why because they are not being paid or they are being paid late they are not really enjoying their jobs it is a way of survival really many of them will leave once they sense a better option so the naturally annoying students aggravates them even further this is a backslash on the student who discovers that you could spend seven years studying a course you are supposed to cover for four years because you annoyed an elderly lecturer there is no drive for information in the school environment at the same time you're afraid of the future because you don't even know how it will be when you graduate will there be a job for you I don't really want to go into the details about how the university system of Nigeria is one of a kind. We already know that and its failure is magnified by the Nigerian government. I mean look at this, staff are not paid. Do you know how dangerous that is? It can lead to an apocalypse. <laughs> And there is a higher unemployment rate with the president having this to say to console all of us the federal government has no more vacancy you can have a good degree from a good university and you will never get a job yeah it's terrible what is also terrible however is our mindset towards school this is the most important part of this video I'm a graduate meaning I've gone through this supposed scam and I believe with all my heart that most of the time we are the ones scamming ourselves especially if you believe any of these things one 
that attending a university is a sure ticket to a successful and financially free life. 2. That you stand a better chance in life if you don't attend the university. Believe in any of these things and I'm sorry, you are not exactly wise. The purpose of a university is not to place money in your hands. A university does not give you a job. It is not designed to do so. A university is just designed to give you knowledge, instill you with education which you will meticulously use to obtain wealth and financial freedom by and for yourself. Follow me closely on this. The major reason why your parents sent you to school is that it is a form of investment. The investment is supposed to make money. Just be real, your parents did not send you to medical school because you said they wanted to save lives. They sent you there because based on their judgment, you have a low probability of living in poverty if you are a medical doctor. So it's a safe investment. Whatever course you study, it's an investment with different levels of risk. That is why it matters a hundredfold which course you study. While these courses, however, do not give you money directly, there is a present need for someone with the information embedded in that course you are studying. Where there is a need, there is supply and demand. And where there is supply and demand, there is money. So you can enter that market space and say, hey, I'm a doctor. You guys need someone who can tear people open without remorse. Pay me and I will tear people open without remorse. Hey Shell, I'm an engineer. You need someone who has an understanding of fluid mechanics which is paramount when extracting petroleum. I'm your man. So this is how it works. We use our education to supply a need in the global market and get paid for it. If you study transport management technology, I don't even know if Nigeria cares about transport management. Talk less of transport management technology. There is no thriving market where that skill set is needed. So when you graduate and can't find a job or find what to do, would you blame the school? The truth is that we have to be careful about what we study. And I know that many people don't study these unneeded courses by choice. It's usually a last resort. After failing to get an admission to study a very profitable course, they can't keep coming back the next year. So they just go to Sarah, Sarah, whatever we be, we be. Nah, let me just manage this marine biology thing. I just know that I'm a graduate at least. Yes, for many of us, it's a case of trying to adapt to the uncomfortable condition and just move on with something else. But then, does it justify blaming the school? Is that enough reason, enough justification to say that the school is a scam? And I know that even if you study a profitable course, it is not easy to get a job. The number of graduates is really much more than the number of job spaces in the market. So there is fierce competition. The hiring managers are not looking for everyone, they are just seeking the best. If you are not able to convince them with your poorest communication during the interview and perhaps your CGPA or your money, you may end up like John. But still, did school scam you? Or is this a larger problem of unemployment in this society? When I was researching on this topic, I discovered that graduates who studied courses that had more job spaces most especially medical graduates all said school isn't a scam. For graduates who studied courses that had job spaces but quite difficult to secure, a lot of these graduates think school is a scam but a good number still believe it isn't a scam, most likely because <laughs> they are probably employed. For graduates who studied courses that had little or zero job spaces in our present market, they all said one thing, as you might have guessed, school is a scam. I began to discover that in this case, the problem wasn't really school. The problem was unemployment. School isn't responsible for unemployment. Unemployment is a byproduct of the inability of government and private entities to cooperate effectively and manage the market. Like I said earlier, school isn't a sure ticket to financial freedom. Nothing is actually. Financial freedom is a product of many factors that work together family background, intelligence, talent, hard work, luck, faith, and other things. At least the university tries to equip you with intelligence and perhaps hard work. Now if you think that you stand a better chance in life if you don't attend the university, I don't know, you may be so wrong. 
For most, the idea is this. This money I've put into 5 years of this fruitless course. If I had invested it in a business, I would have made so much money by now. I would have been better off. This statement is not very practical. Here's why. If you are not the one paying your fees, do you actually think your parents would help you launch a business when you finish secondary school as an alternative to funding your education at the university? You are just distracting yourself. You should focus on your studies. If you are the one funding your education or you have a steady source of good money, I will have you know this. In the world of business, it is all risks. Calculated risks, but still risks. Businesses fail every time. Multibillionaire companies fail. It is a fierce word. The fact that you started a business doesn't mean you will succeed, especially if you don't have prior experience. What I'm saying is this. Whatever you are planning to do instead of going to school is still a risk. If you are really passionate about venturing into that business instead of going to the university, why not do the two? You can do both. You can be running a business while in school. That is what we call a side hustle. There is a silent discrimination against undergraduates or people who did not go to school in society. It is there and you might begin to realize it sooner or later. Education has a voice. Being a graduate has exclusive opportunities attached to it, especially in a civilized society. Once you identify as a graduate, there is this sense of competence and literacy people would subconsciously bestow on you. You can use that to your advantage. And I have this to say too. A big fallacy about school is that school just teaches you theory. That it doesn't prepare you for life. I don't know why people say so. There are a very few things that prepares a young lad for life better than the university. In the university, you learn hard work. You learn resilience. You learn to focus and set targets. You learn to plan. All of these are required to graduate. You don't have a choice. You have to learn it. You have to learn to do it. At school, you learn to adapt. You learn to work under pressure. At sleepless nights. At school, you learn what failure is. You see the pain of failure firsthand. You may cry, but you learn to come back from the place of failure. You further learn to laugh at your failures and move on. You learn to socialize. You learn to make friends and maintain relationships. Well, for the few who are unfortunate, you may fall in love and experience the terror of love while addicted to the beauty of it. For some, in school you'll begin to learn financial independence because then for the first time, you will have to manage money allocated to you independent of external control. And if you mismanage your finances, you pay the price. For many people, it was at school they learned that debt is a terrible thing. If you are religious, at school you may learn what it means to have faith and you truly understand what long suffering truly means, you know, praying and begging God so you don't fail a cause. You will begin to see how dark the world could be right from school when you have to pay for grades with cash or your body. At school you are broken, you are passed through an unnecessary level of stress for years your intelligence is stretched, your ability to understand and grasp foreign concepts is refined, you are rebuilt mentally, you are made into an adult and you are ready for what is worse, the global market. Trust me, this is a worthy and useful experience that cannot be replaced. Of course, all I've said may not apply to everyone. And also, there are government and private institutions with slight differences. Oh. In many cases, a lot of differences. But one thing is universal. Education is not just preparation for life. In fact, I would say education is life itself. It is not a scam. You are not wasting your time going to school. Your present experience may not be what you desired, but it happens to all of us in every sphere of life. It is not just about school. Equip your mind. Build yourself with education. You have the responsibility of making yourself the best you can be.